Well, hi there guys and welcome to another video. Uh, so guys, you find me here in the morning a little peckish and so I thought I'd enjoy a microwavable snack to uh, quench my hunger, to satisfy my satiation needs. Um, and this morning I have selected the Rustlers, the classic quarter pounder with cheese and our signature sauce. Thus. So what do we know about this? Um, while this is a serving suggestion, depicted on the front, uh, heat to enjoy, keep refrigerated, um, made with 100% British and Irish beef. Uh, uh, ingredients, some. Um, allergy advice, some. Quality promise, um, Quarter pounder beef burger in a sesame seeded bun with a processed cheese slice and a sachet of Rustler's sauce. That's the description. So um, let's not waste any time on it, shall we? Um, and some cooking instructions. Right, before we read the cooking instructions, let's open the pack and uh, get the bad boy out. Um, now, it's traditional to open a Rustler's pack, um, generally using a Dremel. Uh, this is the preferred way of doing it. So, of course, it's necessary for us to don um, a little bit of protective eyewear. There we go. Um, and, of course, it can be quite loud. So, obviously, some ear defenders. Um, so, let's open it up. Right, well, that's the package safely opened there. I'm pleased to say that nobody seemed to come to any harm during that. Right, that's the package open. Let's take the contents out. Um, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's place that down on something. No, actually, let's just place it on the, on the worktop because it's clean. This is a clean area. Um, washed just this morning, just cleaned off this morning. Right, so there's our, our, our bap and beef and stuff and, and this signature sauce. I, so I don't know, is it some kind of relish? I do not relish the relish. So let's just discard that. Um, we don't need that. Right, um, let's read the instructions on the rear then. Um, so, remove burger from packaging, done. Pop the bun in the toaster and the patty in the microwave, heating on full power. Rebuild your burger, add a cheese slice with the perfect melt, squeeze over our signature sauce and enjoy. That seems like a lot of effort. Um, I think we won't bother with the toast a bit. Um, we'll just, we'll just, here we go, yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. or simply just heat whole burger for one minute, 50 seconds, stand for 30 seconds. Well, I think we'll go with that approach. Uh, one minute, 50 seconds, right. So let's open the microwave and let us, so do we, do we install the cheese slice before or after? I don't know, let's install it before, why not? So cheese slice, um, a cheese slice can be opened by hand. It's not always necessary to use a Dremel for that purpose. So I'm going to use the hand base method. You can use a Dremel, of course, to open the cheese slice if you feel that's safer. So let's place the cheese slice on the patty. So here we have it, patty with installed cheese slice. Very nice. Um, top of BAP, bottom of BAP. So uh, let's rebuild that. And then let's place that in the microwave oven. Thus, right, that presumably was for an 800 water. Yes, that's for an 800 watt microwave, that's good. One minute, 50 seconds. So let us select 800 watts. Let us select one minute and 50 seconds. 
and hit start. Well, that's the microwave doing its thing. One minute, 50 seconds, eh? What should we talk about for one minute, 50 seconds? Well, let's talk about the Dremel. Um, now, the Dremel is a very practical tool in the kitchen. I would certainly recommend to anyone who doesn't have the Dremel as part of their standard kitchen equipment, consider going out and getting one right now. Um, what can we say about the Dremel? Well, it has this screwy, screwy thing on the top, um, and that lets you take out your your, your bits. Um, actually, I have my bag of bits over here. So here is my bag of bits. Um, you can unscrew the bit on the top and take off the uh, take off the bit there and apply lots of other different things to that, um, such as these lovely, lovely soft boys and um, other such things, like things like this as well. Very nice. Um, and stuff, and yes, oh, this one's, oh, look at that, that's a beauty, isn't it, yes. Um, so yes, there's lots of different things you can apply. Oh, look, there's a, another one there, and, and oh, what's this? Oh, look, look, screwing, the, the drilling, drilling, drilling thing. Yeah, um, st so yes, you can apply all sorts of, of ends to that, that bad boy. Um, the, the battery pack is fully removable, um, and there's a separate charger that comes with that. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's great, and it goes woo, and it goes woo, um, and uh, yeah, um, five thousand to thirty-five thousand revolutions per minute. So um, yeah, get one, do wonders with it. And there's the microwave finished. Right, uh, you never know what's going to happen when you open the microwave door. So I'll done my protective eyewear again and open the microwave door carefully oh steam thank goodness could have been much more serious right well um I said stand for 30 seconds i mean i've been standing for quite a while now but uh, let's uh let's take it out um and uh it's got a bit of a soggy bottom so we'll just put it upside down for a moment to let some of the water evaporate off the soggy bottom. Now, probably I should have put it in the microwave, perhaps on some kitchen paper. Um, but I was actually looking around for kitchen paper and I think I've run out. Uh, I guess I could have put it on a plate, but uh, the plate is in the cupboard behind the, where the camera is at the moment, so I can't get to that. Um, is that 30 seconds? Probably. Should we just eat it and find out? Yes. Um, right. So, texturally, yes, that's, that's nice and soft now, that bap. Um, actually, the bottom is not quite as soggy as it was a few seconds ago. Um, let's lift the top of the bap and take a look at the patty and the cheese, shall we? Uh, so, here we go. Ooh, squishy boy. There we go. There's some nice... Nice cheese on our patty, nicely melted down now. Um, the smell mm, does smell quite beefy. Um, well, let's not waste any time. Let's take a bite of our Rustlers, or uh, 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 the original quarter pounder, uh, without their signature sauce, because no one wants that. Mmm. Oh, yes. Mmm. Quite hot. Mm -hmm. When I get it close to my face, uh, my glasses do steam up slightly, so it is definitely emanating a lot of water vapour at this time. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yes. Mmm. Well, that's a good few bites. Um, so, what can I tell you about the rustlers? Well, the bread... The bread is not superb. Now, having chosen the quick version of the steps, uh, of course I didn't toast the bap, um, the long version of the steps was pop the bun in the toaster, heat patty for one minute, 10 seconds, stand for 30 seconds. Um, the short version was heat whole burger for one minute, 50 seconds, stand for 30 seconds. So I guess if I had popped the bun in the toaster, as they say, um, I might have enjoyed a slightly higher quality of, of the bread than just cooking it in the microwave. So I do not blame 
the Rustlers boys for my bread experience because I chose the quick version. Um, have another couple of bites. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty piece. Mmm. The beef. Now, the beef does have a certain flame grilled quality to it. They have definitely pre configured the beef appropriate to giving the the flame grilled feel so um it does win on that count i mean there's no getting around the fact it is clearly a burger that has just been heated in the microwave it is not the sort of thing you might get on a on a barbecue for example um but it is nonetheless a very good very good burger indeed very enjoyable um the cheese exactly what you'd expect of processed cheese um processed cheese of course is just it's not a quality piece, but it is a very enjoyable piece. Um, so yes, I, the, the flavour of the cheese I cannot fault. Um, good cheese, good beef, adequate bun. Bun could be improved by following the long version of the instructions, I imagine. Well. Mmm. Mmm. That's all we have today, just a short video. Um, I'll try to get on to some more non-food related content. Um, it's very difficult to, to find a lot of content when one doesn't leave the house at all um, due to the current world events. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see what else we can, we can bring up for you. Anyway, uh, guys, I hope you found today's video interesting and informative. Um, and as always, guys, please do feel free to comment below. Let me know if you've had Rustler's products or 100% compatible equivalents in the past. Um, let me know what you thought of them. Um, maybe go out and buy yourself a Rustler's if you've not had one before. Recreate the experience and share that in the comments too. Um, other than that, of course, there's not very much more for me to say, except that I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, but for now guys, don't forget when using a Dremel to always don your eye protection and uh, it can get quite loud so always don your inner ear to ear defenders. Anyway guys, not much more for me to say except, well, oh, goodbye. <laughs>